What's going on, everybody? All right, really cool video for you today. Today, we're going to be uh, checking out the Thetis audio tools, or more to the point, uh, the presets. All these audio, on, I'm going to jack into the computer in a minute. So, all these, uh, Thetis comes with a list of audio profiles all ready to go for you. So it's, uh, it's perfect for anybody out there who doesn't know how to set up rack gear or they don't want to get into the headache of learning virtual studio technology. So Thetis comes with it all set for you, all ready to go. Now these are both, uh, uh, you know, an audio and your band pass, uh, your, your transmit filter here. So some might be, you know, 100 through 2.9. So not only audio, but your band pass filter as well. Okay, so Thetis comes with, I'll just do this real briefly before I jack in is what's called DS, uh, DSP. We're going to go into what's called CFC. Sorry about that. <clears throat> I'll show you that. Continuous frequency compression. It also has the post EQ CFC down here. Okay. The second thing it has, equalizer, a transmit equalizer. And by the way, these are all uh, adjustable. I could change this to, I don't know, 550 if I wanted to. I could turn this to, I don't know, 1500. So it's pretty cool. Okay. And then we have our overall compression down here. Okay, so each one of these profiles is all set for you. So this one might have, uh, you know, no compression and and EQ and so on and so forth. But they're all they're all set up for you. Okay, so uh, you know, as we go forward and listen to these, before you point the dirty end of the stick at some of these audio profiles, they're set up for different types uh, of microphone. Like somebody might be using the electric microphone or one of the many, uh, you know, phantom power microphones, or like me, I'm using. <coughs> It's going to sound different on my RE320 microphone, so keep that in mind. And also different being conditions, too. Some might be, might be contesting, and uh, they just want to cut through. Oh, where is that contest? Yeah, contest. It's real, real thin, and, and, and they don't care how they sound. They just want to get their call sign heard out there. So different uh, types of microphones, different voices, and different being conditions, whatever you want to do. And also if you're uh, you know doing the old rag chew, you want to open up the low 50 and high 4KC. So different uh, different strokes for different folks and different microphones. All right, so <clears throat> it's gonna be really cool here uh, on station. Anybody that doesn't know, I have two uh, completely different in independent setups. That's my station A. All right, that's my Apache Labs Mon 7000 DLE. We're gonna be transmitting a dummy load. Okay, it's on that computer down there. And my station B is my Hermes Light 2 Plus. There she is. An amazing, amazing little radio. It's crazy. And that's in my piece of crap B-Link mini computer. It's about to die <laughs> on, on this screen over here. So transmitting on station A, receiving on station B. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to uh, run a screen capture software simultaneously on both computers. Okay, so once I go through all these profiles to show what I mean, I'm going to take uh, both recordings and put them in my video editing software. Okay, inside that uh, video editing software, <clears throat> I will eliminate the video over here. Okay, but keep the audio, and I'm going to take that audio of the receive, I'm going to put it over to here. Uh, so you're going to be hearing the, the receive audio, uh, what's going on on station's A's transmitter side. So you're going to see everything that the transmitter is doing and why it sounds that way. And of course, over here, I'll eliminate the audio. All right, so you're going to see the transmitter, but hear the receive at the exact same time. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. All right, I think that's all I wanted to say here. All right, let's get on into it. All right, first things first. Here we are inside of my virtual studio technology. So I did here. I came down to an unused track, track five. Okay, so to keep it just RE320 microphone only, I only popped in a noise gate and the tiniest bit of reverb. Okay, so the second thing I did was I put in this uh, me talking track or a vocal track right here. So this is what you're going to hear over and over again. So when I'll play that, this is exact audio they're going to be sending to uh, the Thetis audio profiles. Hold on here, let me, where am I here? Let me mute this. This is Thetis Transmit Audio Test. These are preset audio profiles that come with Thetis. Perfect for anybody out there that doesn't know the way around rack gear or virtual studio technology. And once again, Thetis Transmit Audio Test. Out. Okay, so there's that. That's step one. That's uh, I wanted to keep a uh, 
a baseline recording every single time. Okay, and that's going to feed us. <laughs> I'll stop doing that. Here we are inside of feed us. Okay, so what I'm going to do, let's pop in. We're going to go to setup tab. Uh, I'll go to uh, transmit. Okay, here's the additional TX profiles. Let's go ahead and start popping some of these in here. What I do is a couple of things I'm going to do. They're going to they're going to populate this drop down tab. So let's do default. All right, let me turn this on first. Okay, you're going to notice a couple of things here. Okay, I'm going to hit default. Include. Okay. Yes. You're going to hear my audio drop out because each one of these profiles are all presets. And in this preset, you're going to see my uh, VAC one down here drop out. So I'm going to have to re-engage that. So for my particular setup, the way I run things, I need VAC one on. Okay, here we go. Yes. I'm going to turn VAC one back on. And there we go. And the second thing I'm going to do, because I am using the line input, because I am patching through my cakewalk, even though there's no EQing, I'm still using my cakewalk, so I have to hit a line in. And there you go. So each one of these. Okay, so that's default. Let's keep going down the list here. Uh, default DX. Include. Yep. On. Line in. Uh, I'll come back to AM. Uh, I have no idea what these are going to sound like or what the, what we're going to do. Conventional. Include. Yep. Back on. And line in. Uh, what's next? Let's go. Uh, D104. Include. Yep. Uh, do... D104 with EQ. Include. And then, uh, oh, okay, contest, why not? Uh, ESSB. Sorry, you're going to have to listen to my uh, voice recording over and over again. <laughs> my crap voice. Uh, let's see, I uh, pluck one out. I don't know. Oh, how about that one? Two point eight. Go to uh, three point three. Include. Uh, now let's go back up to what was that? AM. Include. And get on to the 10K K of C with the K of C finger looking good on. <laughs> All right, I said I'd stop doing that. But okay, include. Okay, there we go. So it should have populate this drop down tab right from the main screen, and there they are. All right, so let's go through each one of these. So uh, say you go to default, then I'm going to go into Cakewalk here. And then I'm going to play that recording. So I'm going to be muting this and play this recording over and over again through each of those profiles. All right, here we go. This should be pretty cool. Oh, boy, wait, wait, wait. Before we go any further, I forgot. We're going to go into setup. We want to see everything that the transmitter is doing. Okay, uh, let's go into appearance. We're going to go to multimeters. We're going to add a whole list of uh meters so we can see exactly what's going on so let's go down the list here what do we want to see what the transmitter is doing as we are transmitting all right let's uh go to i want to see what the microphone is doing go to let's see if the eq is engaged leveler leveler gain uh alc of course uh alc compression Normally, you wouldn't have these up here all the time, but for this experiment, I want to see everything. ELC, why not? ELC group, CFC compression, CFC compression gain, and yeah, overall compression. Okay, let's close that out. I'm going to stretch and drag this list. Yeah, don't like that. Okay, now you might see some of these are grayed out. What that means is, like this profile right here is not using any CFC. 
Right, so let's go ahead and click and drag this over to here, right underneath the watt meter. Okay, so to verify, set up uh, DSP. Yes, this profile is not using any uh, CFC. And also, it's not using the EQ. So as I click these, as we uh, transmit these, you'll be able to see what the profile is not using and what it is using. Okay? So there. All right. Now let's get on into it. This is Thetis Transmit Audio Test. These are preset audio profiles that come with Thetis. Perfect for anybody out there that doesn't know the way around rack gear or virtual studio technology. And once again, Thetis Transmit Audio Test. Out. This is Thetis Transmit Audio Test. These are preset audio profiles that come with Thetis. Perfect for anybody out there that doesn't know the way around rack gear or virtual studio technology. And once again, Thetis Transmit Audio Test. Out. This is Thetis Transmit Audio Test. These are preset audio profiles that come with Thetis. Perfect for anybody out there that doesn't know the way around rack gear or virtual studio technology. And once again, Thetis Transmit Audio Test. Out. This is Thetis Transmit Audio Test. These are preset audio profiles that come with Thetis. Perfect for anybody out there that doesn't know the way around rack gear or virtual studio technology. And once again, Thetis Transmit Audio Test. Out. This is Thetis Transmit Audio Test. These are preset audio profiles that come with Thetis. Perfect for anybody out there that doesn't know the way around rack gear or virtual studio technology. And once again, Thetis Transmit Audio Test. Out. This is Thetis Transmit Audio Test. These are preset audio profiles that come with Thetis. Perfect for anybody out there that doesn't know the way around rack gear or virtual studio technology. And once again, Thetis Transmit Audio Test. Out. This is Thetis Transmit Audio Test. These are preset audio profiles that come with Thetis. Perfect for anybody out there that doesn't know the way around rack gear or virtual studio technology. And once again, Thetis Transmit Audio Test. Out. This is Thetis Transmit Audio Test. These are preset audio profiles that come with Thetis. Perfect for anybody out there that doesn't know the way around rack gear or virtual studio technology. And once again, Thetis Transmit Audio Test. Out. This is Thetis Transmit Audio Test. These are preset audio profiles that come with Thetis. Perfect for anybody out there that doesn't know the way around rack gear or virtual studio technology. And once again, Thetis Transmit Audio Test. Out. This is Thetis Transmit Audio Test. These are preset audio profiles that come with Thetis. Perfect for anybody out there that doesn't know the way around rack gear or virtual studio technology. And once again, Thetis Transmit Audio Test. Out.
This is Thetis Transmit Audio Test. These are preset audio profiles that come with Thetis. Perfect for anybody out there that doesn't know the way around rack gear or virtual studio technology. And once again, Thetis Transmit Audio Test. Out. This is Thetis Transmit Audio Test. These are preset audio profiles that come with Thetis. Perfect for anybody out there that doesn't know the way around rack gear or virtual studio technology. And once again, Thetis Transmit Audio Test. Out. All right, there you go. Hopefully I didn't rack your ears too bad with my crap voice. <laughs> so... Anyhow, that was kind of neat. Uh, as you saw, I made no adjustments between all those profiles. As you can see, some had a very low output power, and then uh, some had extremely high. But you might have to watch that a few times. I know I'm going to watch it a few times. You can see how each group has an effect on the audio quality and the output power. Now, when I say zero watts up there, it's not really zero watts. They're just The resolution isn't that good on it. So if it says zero, it might be like three quarters of a watt or a half a watt. So yeah, watch watch the reaction of the, of the output power and what these are doing. And once again, I uh, made no adjustments. Uh, so if you, um, you know what, I'll do an upcoming video where I'll select uh, from one of these that I think are close to the way I like it, and then I'll come back and then modify it. So let's just say there was one audio profile or one transmit profile that, wow, that sounded really good, but yeah, the output power is low, the, the, you know, the, the mic was low, the ELC you know was barely you know banging up there so i'll come back in and i'll make adjustments and, and tailor it uh to the way i want it and get them get those jack those uh, levels up so we get a nice smooth output power and then some of these profiles uh it was kind of erratic on the watt meter so adjust all these so you get nice smooth get that nice hang time get to you know really tailor that compression so it hangs up there uh you know on, on the output power but you know, I'll make it my own. But for here, I just let everything exactly the same. All right. So, all right. I'm going to get on out of here. KP68, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Free and clear.